Hello friends, today we want to discuss about new topic of the chapter. Up to exercise 13.3, we completed all the kind of questions. I think you also solved all the relevant exercise. Now our today's topic is very important topic in probability. And this is the thing that we have to contribute this uh, probability with statistic now. So it's very interesting thing. So let us start with the definition of random variable and probability distribution. This one is very important topic. So first of all, let us see what the definition is. Let u be the sample class associated with uh, any random experiment. So we know that a random experiment is what and u is also sample class. A real valued function, it means that here we have to deal with the function. I hope all of you know about variable. A real value function x from u to r is said to be random variable if sigma i is running from 1 to n, probability of x of u r is 1. Okay, so let us see what the meaning is this. First of all, uh, we see that uh, u is domain of the function as per given function. So let us say u and u2, u3 up to, to un, these are elements of the domain. So it's domain of this random variable x. Now we know that if a function is given then by putting this all of the value, it means all of the elements of domain in given relation x, then we get range of the function. It means relation x applying on u1, u2, u3 up to, to u and we get this relation. A set of the relation x u1, x u2, x u1. And this set, let us say x1 is x1, x2, x3, up to, up to xn. So this set we may write generalized generally as xi. xi is x1, x2, up to, up to xn, which is also known as here range of the function. Now the question is this, what is this when we apply uh, this function and we get sigma on the probability is 1. So to describe it, let us see one example. Suppose a die. We throw a die once, then you know that there are six outcomes. So let us try to understand u means what is the set of u r. So I can say that there are six elements one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is elements of the domain in the case of that. It means throw a die once. Okay, now what is xi? Xi is the range of the function applying on u. It means, uh, we will take the example like this. Suppose one occur as the outcome. One occur as outcome. I will give you 100 rupees. Two occur, I will give you 200 rupees. Three occur, I will give you 300 rupees, 400 rupees, 500 rupees and 600 rupees. It means one occur. Then what is the function applying x of 1? x of 2 x of 3, x of 4, it means a function means the relation. What is the relation? You get 100 rupees in this case. You get 200 rupees, 300 rupees and so on. So this is x1, x2, x3 and so on. So this is the range of the function. Now what is this? Y probability, if we calculate, then sum of the probability is 1. So it is very simple that you know that one other as outcome then probability getting one is one by six. You know that. Similarly, one by six, one by six, one by six, one by six. Six times one by six, you get one. It means that you get hundred rupees at a time. Probability is one by six. You get two hundred rupees. Probability is one by six. One by six. It means the sum of the probability is one. So the result is very Okay, so this all of the elements of range, remember that, I again repeat that, range, I have to write as a tabular form. So range of this random experiment or random variable, we may write here as a row x1, x2, x3, x2, x3, 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 x3. And as we calculate probability relative to the elements of the range, a p of x1, p of x2, p of x3, 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 we may write here. And now it is clear that summation of this probability is 1. So this summation must be 1. Then we may say that this function x 
as called a random variable. So random variable is nothing but as a function. So now this is statistical result we have. It means uh, we get the tabular form of this random variable and it's a probability distribution. So now our aim to find the statistical results that it means uh, statistical components mean and value. So let us see mean. We know that how to find the mean. We learn in standard 10 also that sigma xi, pxi. If we write, then this is called sigma xi fr. You know that these are observations. These are frequency related to statistic observations. So xi fr and sigma fi is n. I hope you all of know that if there is a frequency relevant to observations are given, then x bar is sigma f psi f i upon n means sigma f i. But here this mean is also known as mathematical expectation. It means what we what we obtain from this table that is mathematical expectation or what we gain from this probability distribution. So that is getting result from the table is also known as real mathematical expectation. So mathematical expectation is mean and this mean is known as EX. So here how we define EX? See, that expectation on X, we may write it as sigma XI PXI, see here, upon the sigma PXI where i is coming from 1 to n but we know that this sigma pxi is 1 so that is only sigma xi pxi upon 1 only because sigma pxi is 1 as per the given probability distribution of x so finally the formula to find mathematical expectation is this therefore expectation on x is only sigma xi pxi where i is running from 1 to n or whatever kind of uh, elements in the range of the function is given so this is expectation on x and is very important result from this we may also find expectation on x square so expectation on x square is sigma xi square pxi and now we know that the definition of variance we know the definition of variance so let us see the definition of variance actually is known as standard deviation also so the standard deviation the standard deviation standard deviation of random variable x is you know that this standard deviation we may define as sigma x or st of x also that is what you know that that is sigma fi xi square upon n but n is 1 so sigma fi xi square so here we may write that sigma fi means pxi and xi square so sigma xi square pxi and minus sigma fi xi whole square so here sigma xi pxi the whole square so this is standard deviation uh, deviation so therefore this standard deviation can be written as under root this is nothing but expectation of x square see here expectation on x square and this is expectation on x whole square so this is standard deviation of the given random experiment and now variance of x is nothing but sigma x square and therefore variance is we want to remove this square root so expectation on x square minus expectation on x whole square that this result is known as variance of the random experiment x so this is the result for this results are very useful there are two results expectation on x nothing to do first we have to find the probability distribution of given random experiment or given random variable that after by using it we may find sigma xi pxi easily from that and that after we have to find expectation on x square 
because of that this expectation of x square is useful to find standard deviation as well as variance of x. So now important thing is this, this mathematical expectation, what, what the meaning actually, so let us write the important remark related to it, you have to take screenshot also from this. Okay, so let us discuss about the mathematical expectation. Remark So, in the case of playing the game Thank you.